What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought this E-Ocean selfie stick, I believe, and uh, this one is kind of interesting, and I wanted to show it to you because I believe this is one that has a quarter inch screw on it for attaching to normal cameras and camera accessories. So, I hope it is. So what we're gonna do is, and I will tell you that I also bought it because it's really cheap. So, stay tuned here as I unbox this thing. Looks like we get some paperwork. I'm not gonna even bother with that right now. And then what we have here is some sort of uh, carrier for phones. I assume this uh, adjusts. Oh, look at this. It's a manual adjust so you can really kind of force it down on something. Um, I don't know how expansive this will get. And it sure seems to expand out pretty well, so you should be able to get it over your five and a half inch phablets. These uh, these little claws do fold down, and what you can see here is this has a quarter inch um, threaded hole to receive your a normal camera tripod screw. So that's that's interesting, and I need that. It also comes with a micro USB cable, and then here's the tripod and selfie stick itself. And what you can see here, man, it feels good. This is heavy polymer. I mean, this feels pretty good, so the the pull is probably uh, metal and aluminum, but man, it's got a lot of weight, which I actually really, really like. And as you can see, here's the, the material piece for me. What we have here is the standard uh, camera uh, adapting quarter inch screw with a screw base plate on there. And it's on um, you know a ball joint, which looks like I can tighten with this little triangular thread right there. And yep, that's gonna hold that sucker in place really, really well. Uh, also, what I like and I think are underrated are these little polished front uh, mirrors, these little chrome domes on there. And so when you're using this as a selfie stick, if this is facing you, you can see basically what the camera's picking up. What up, what up, what up? And then we also have the tripod arms that fold out like this, kind of like leaves. And when they're closed, that's gonna be your handle. So the nice thing is they're nice and rounded, so it feels good in the hand. And when they're out, they seem to all be nice and even. And I guess you're gonna have to deploy the selfie stick a little bit because otherwise that center bar is too high for the the arms to reach so I think you just pull it out like that look at that so there we go now if I pull that out now this thing stands up and that is really really nice and I do like the fact that they have some rubber feet here on the tripod part now here's the remote now this is interesting too because you could pair this bad boy with your phone and then have your shutter button uh, volume up and down um, actually I assume it's volume up and down or advanced um, and rewind if you're playing music or showing slides but the shutter button which is basically a volume control on iOS is how the camera is controlled so you have that and it looks like there's a power button on and off so that's how you'd find it and pair it and then it could go in here face down this is all rubberized right here so that's what makes it grippy and holds it in this is all a hard plastic but I like having that you know I have an Apple watch which also has the shutter feature but uh, if you don't, or you don't want to spend four hundred dollars on an Apple Watch, three hundred bucks, you can get one of these. Uh, this whole thing was about ten bucks, so that's pretty nice. And then in terms of how far it extends, looks like man, we have a lot of segments in here. This is crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it out. Man, it is stiff. And one of the things I want to show you here is if we look at how long this is, I'm gonna guess just from the ball here to that end, we're talking about three feet. So I'm guessing it's like 36 inches plus whatever the camera is going to be on the end of it, plus well, what you're grabbing down here, which is probably another uh, six or seven inches. So that's pretty awesome. Now, the cool thing is it does come with a carrier for attaching your phone, but I'm going to attach a camera right to the top of it too and try that out. So we'll give both of these a shot and see what kind of effect we Hang loose, brah. So I've got the uh, my iPhone set here on top of the selfie stick and just walking around with it. I've got it fully extended. I'm just holding it down kind of by my, by my waist here, by my belly. And I've got the backside camera facing me because I wanted to show you with it, the image stabilization on and working. Um, so that's pretty nice. I mean, I will say the, the grip, especially with the remote in place, is pretty thick. So you kind of want to hold it up and kind of choke up on the, the selfie stick a little bit, which is fine. But this is really, really useful. Now, I will say a couple of other nice things about it is that the, um, the clamp that it comes with, I actually really like because you tighten it down with that screw, that, that thumb screw. Um, so it can fit a wide variety of things and it doesn't wiggle and you don't have to worry about it coming out. That being said, um, 
it is a little bit of a pain to kind of get things in and out quickly. And uh, because I centered it right on my phone, it was actually hiding my camera icon to start the app. And so I actually had to kind of start the camera and then load it and I'm editing out that piece there. So that kind of keep that in mind. It's uh, the where, where it's positioned can be a little bit of a, um, an inconvenience. The other thing I will say is because, you know, that little Chrome dome I was showing you, which shows you what you're seeing in kind of a selfie through via reflection, uh, does not pivot with that little gimbal, with that little ball joint. And so the problem is right now I can't really see it. It's not doing anything for me because it's kind of facing up. It's perpendicular to the bar. So it's not really doing anything. The only way it really works is if you have that ball joint um, sitting up vertically. So if you're using it as like a tripod on a stand or on the ground holding that camera, then you'll see what it sees, which is a little bit, I don't know, that doesn't really make any sense to me because if I'm uh, putting it on the tripod, you know, I don't know that I'll be sitting at it, looking at it, wondering where I'm going to be. It's it's when I'm walking around, I kind of want to make sure that I'm getting things in in the shot or, you know, when I'm turning, I use that reflection to see, oh, did I get what I'm showing you or demonstrating in the shot too. So to have it not mobile, have it to have it be fixed to the pole itself, so the selfie stick is a little bit odd to me. Um, but that being said, because you can use it to create basically like a 10 inch, you know, vertical tripod and put basically any camera that has that uh, quarter inch receiver screw hole in it is the reason I got this and that's why I want to use it for webcams for regular cameras and so it's really versatile in that regard so if you're looking for a selfie stick with that quarter inch screw that quarter inch bolt on it this is one you want to get and it's pretty inexpensive I mean really inexpensive so that's what I really like about it uh, check it out I'll put a link to it in the description Peter Von Panda out